This video is about known moisturising treatment, known as NMT. NMT is a very powerful protocol against topical steroid withdrawal. According to itsand.org, TSW is a debilitating condition that comes from the use of topical steroids to treat skin conditions such as eczema. In some cases, rashes are misdiagnosed as eczema, or topical steroids are used for cosmetic reasons and the skin ends up addicted to the steroids. Here we will see what Ahmed's typical day with NMT looks like. After he wakes up, Ahmed starts the day by cleaning his dead skin on his bed and on the floor. This is the everyday routine for all the TSW sufferers. Even if his face or affected parts are dry, Ahmed doesn't apply anything on his skin. No cream, no water, no oil, no patch, no wrap, no gauze, nothing. After we're done cleaning, Ahmed gets dressed and goes for a walk. By going early morning, with cold weather, it helps him to avoid sweating. People who do NMT should try and wake up as early as possible because it is quite difficult to exhaust the body enough to sleep by 10 p.m. The best thing to do is try and wake up at five or six in the morning. Like that, it is easier to sleep in the golden hours between 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. because it is at this range of time that our body creates new skin. Sleeping during the daytime is not allowed. If you do NMT, try to not let the sun touch your skin too much, especially the affected areas as avoiding sunlight is part of the NMT protocol. In case of asthma, make sure to use inhalers without steroids, if possible. Here, in his case, Ahmed is using singular tablets and cerevants twice a day plus Ventolin in case of asthma crisis. For exercise, do whatever is comfortable for your skin. If we can walk a little bit faster or run, we should go for it. If we can do what Ahmed is doing, great. Simply, try to do our best to stay active and keep your heart rate at 120 beats per minute. And if you have a good NMT knowledge, try to help some sufferers if they have questions about this protocol. Most of the people have trouble understanding the liquid limitation. There are many different types of exercises on YouTube. Do one hour of exercise daily to the best of your capabilities. If sweating, Ahmed recommends to just stop exercising and split your daily practice into two 30 minute sessions. And if 30 minutes is too much, just split it into three. Just do 20 minutes each session. Just don't give up. This is Ahmed's advice. You need to stick to it as much as you can. If possible, getting out of your house is really important. Just get out of your house. It will help the depression. Ahmed feels like most of us are less depressed when we're outdoors getting fresh air. On Ahmed's first video, he wasn't able to leave his house as much, since he was a lot worse than he is now. Towards the end of NMT, he did yoga and breathing exercises, and it really helped him to control the itchy moments. Ahmed really recommends doing the daily exercises during the whole NMT process. When we do NMT, we will feel kind of lonely and depressed. So try to focus on the future. Try to have a goal. For example, Ahmed wants to be able to enjoy this summer holiday. Focus on the end goal and stick to NMT as much as possible. Moving on, it is really important to talk to your family and make them understand why we're doing this. The support from our families is extremely crucial because you will feel super lonely and sad during this process. We don't want our family members putting doubts in our heads and asking us questions such as, what are you doing? Are you sure about this? NMT and TSW is really hard and we want as much support as we can get. In terms of food, you have to count the water contained in all the food you eat. So you don't go over the limit NMT dictates. One litre per day for a 50 to 60 kilogram person, 1.5 litres for a 100 kilogram person. It is the daily liquid limitation. Ahmed has oatmeal with cereal for breakfast and has around 300 millilitres in total every morning. There is no single food that doesn't contain water, so be careful. You have to count every single bite of food you have.
you can also eat frozen small fruits. Like grape and berry, it can help you when you feel a little bit hungry. But even if it's only 5 millilitres, you have to count them in your daily liquid limitation. In case you get hungry during the day, you can eat some fruits. Once again, measuring and counting the water it contains. You have to Google the percentage of water in the food you eat. Here, Ahmed is cooking some chicken with seasoning and rice. Note how he also measures it at the end. In Ahmed's case, he also takes supplements for his calcium deficiency. Because he has an allergy to dairy products. TSW is so hard that you need to keep your mind occupied with whatever you can. And you need to stay awake during the day so it's easier to sleep at night. With TSW and NMT, it is hard to fall asleep at 10 p.m. because of the intense itch. So the more tired we get during the day, the better. You can also ask your doctor to prescribe you a sleeping pill to help you fall asleep. And of course, during this whole process, you have to be followed by a doctor. You should not stay still for too long. So don't spend too much time reading books or watching TV. Your body has to be active as much as you can. Luckily, most of the time, Ahmed works from home, and because he is working as a wedding photographer, he has to go out once a week. He was worried about his appearance, but maybe thanks to his smile, nobody seems to care that much about his skin condition. Ahmed's mantra is, stay positive, keep smiling, keep fighting, you have to move on anyway. When it comes to showers, if it is possible, the first month don't shower at all. Ahmed uses the water from the shower to clean his private parts occasionally. After the first month, you can shower every three to four days. Time spent in the shower should be as short as possible. And don't use any liquid soaps, just water and hard soaps. However, keep an eye out for infections. In Ahmed's case, his feet were the biggest problems, and it is hard to keep them clean when moving around. To summarize, TSW and NMT is probably one of the hardest challenges we will ever have to face. To make this journey easier, it is recommended to join the NMT Education Group on Facebook and search for Takuko's post in order to learn NMT properly. You can also join the NMT Heal Club and see some results of people who have followed the NMT protocol. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people who claim they did 100% NMT and who say that NMT didn't work for them. Actually, Ahmed spent a lot of time talking with those people and every time he found out they were missing something. Sometimes they don't do the sport properly or they apply makeup on their face. But most of the time, there is a misunderstanding about the liquid count. Indeed, some people just count the liquid, like water and juice, but they don't count the water contained in fruits, rice or chicken. Takuko has made many blogs explaining the NMT journey in detail. Also, there are many other people going through TSW in the not official, but very helpful NMT support group. They can give you support and where you can share your journey and ask anything. You should not be afraid to speak and show your emotions. Keep a positive mindset because healing will happen. Ahmed hopes the video was helpful and wishes the best of luck to all the warriors that watched it. A big thank you to his sister that helped him record the sport and Sergio Daniel Perez for the script. Also a big thank you to Lynette Rongjong. And yeah, I'm going to thank myself, Sean, for my beautiful voice. <laughs>